Welcome to another episode of Talent Watch, where I give you the heads up on talent both in front of and behind the camera set to make it big this year. In fact, in a recent episode, I spotlighted horror master James Wan, and what do you know? Universal just picked him to helm Fast and Furious 7. Now, today's episode, per BTT viewer Elliot Mason's suggestion, focuses on Benedict Cumberbatch, whose name makes it sound like he should hang out with Winnie the Pooh or Peter Pan. But Cumberbatch isn't British in name only, because, as anyone who watches BBCA knows, he is the current poster boy for British thesping. The Lambda grad is indeed a BBC staple, starring in Hawking as Stephen Hawking to the ends of the earth and currently in the title role of Sherlock. That last one has earned him a cult following and unlikely heartthrob status. Indeed, he gives fellow British invasion thespes Tom Hardy and Tom Hiddleston a run for their money in that department. Benedict Cumberbatch is so British that you might recall he narrated the beginning of the opening ceremony for the London Olympics, followed by a brief appearance that delighted his legion of fans. Fans J.J. Abrams is obviously eager to court, as the strawberry blonde actor has kept his Sherlock die job to play the villain in this summer's Star Trek Into Darkness. A film where, I might add, this TV actor is the focus of the posters and trailers. Is Paramount smart to bet so heavily on an unproven silver screen commodity? We'll have to wait and see. But luckily for Cumberbatch, he will have several chances to prove himself to American audiences and Hollywood this year, and he's definitely covering the bases. In addition to his big blockbuster turn in Star Trek, which he'll complement with voice work as the dragon in The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smog, Cumberbatch will also show his more dramatic side in not one, not two, but three Oscar contenders. He plays a supporting role in Steve McQueen's 12 Years a Slave, opposite Michael Fassbender and Brad Pitt, as well as in the film adaptation of play August Osage County, opposite Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts, and Ewan McGregor. But the real showstopper should be The Fifth Estate, where he plays WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Yes, no doubt, by the end of 2013, even those who don't watch BBCA will know Cumberbatch's name. However, one must admit that it's unfortunate that Cumberbatch seems to have fallen into the foreign actor villain trap. Maybe he jinxed himself with all those Alan Rickman impressions. What do you think? Are you already a Benedict Cumberbatch fan, or is this the first you've heard of him? And do you think he should also get to play the hero in Hollywood sometimes? Or who cares, as it's the villains who have all the fun? Be sure to share your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and I hope you'll check out the rest of BTT's Talent Watch series.